Today's video is huge, I mean big, because I'm going to fix the number one bad serve habit in tennis in five no-fail drills. I'm serious. So if you're ready, let's get started. The waiter tray, the pizza move, the flapjack, whatever you want to call it, it is easily the number one bad habit I see out there with recreational players trying to really get better, get to the next level with their serve, and this is killing literally millions of tennis players around the globe. And I have had so many students send in their serve to be analyzed, and this is what's really holding them back. I, if you are struggling to get from that 3035 to a 40 or 45 most likely you have this in your serve whether you know it or not lots of people who send their video don't even know that they're doing this but this is easily the number one bad habit and it prevents you from having a lot of power on your serve spin and control it just enables you to basically be able to come here and push a serve in and get the point started. That's all you're gonna be able to do if you have what I call the pizza move. And the reason I call this the pizza move is because your racket, it's like you could be delivering a pizza right here. Other people call it the waiter tray. It makes sense. But this is how most people are serving out there, especially if you are a low 4-0 or below, right? Now, once you get up to that high 4-0 level, 4-5, certainly 5-0s, you're not gonna see any 5 flapjackers out there they all have the advanced technique and so today I'm gonna to give you five no fail drills that you're gonna be able to practice if I promise why well, say it's no fail if you go out there and you just do this two or three times a week for the next 30 days you do these five exercises you will get rid of this stupid dreaded pizza move so let's get right into this now the first thing is the grip and so many people you have to have the continental grip right if, if you are if you are holding what I call a frying pan grip here you cannot get out of this pizza move you're stuck in the pizza move right away so you turn it over you're shaking hands to the racket like so and you're in that but that's just step one because what I see a lot of people do is they do what I call a slip grip meaning that they start out in the, the proper grip and then they come back here they're in the continental grip and then right around here I don't know if you guys caught that you switch grips and I've given so many lessons to where my students they start out during that continental grip they come to right about here they slip the grip they go in the pizza move and the serve is over anything from there it's like why even serve the ball if you're trying to get an advanced serve so one thing you can do, you can do two things, but I suggest the easiest thing to do, because this is such a brilliant little invention from my buddies over at On Court, Off Court, is you take this and you put it right in the middle of your racket right there, okay? You take this knob, you tie it around. This is called, I don't want to say it wrong. It might be a serve doctor, a grip doctor. Anyway, you'll see it on On Court, Off Court, and it is a great little tool, and now, all you do is you take right here your index finger you put it right there between your index and middle finger you're holding the racket now it's locked in place it's a lot harder to change your grip so for some of you this may be the only exercise you need is just to stop changing your grip now if you um, don't have one of these and uh, first of all just go to oncourtoffcourt.com and order one I'm not being paid by them or anything for the, for saying this I just love this tool and um, get one but if you don't go and get one and you just want to try this today you can also use a pen or a pencil and I'll show you how to use that in a second so another thing you can do is you can grab a pen or pencil you put it in between these two fingers get yourself in that continental grip and this is another way to kind of help lock your grip in place avoid that dreaded pizza move start hitting aces in your mat so let's come back with our second no fail drill to get rid of this dreaded pizza move okay so now that we've got our grip changed we got our continental grip we feel good about that here's what we got to do here's here's the biggest challenge that people have they, they come here they get in this pizza move and therefore when they're going to hit they can only hit the ball flat 
and the way to change that to where you can start to add spin, and if you watch the pros do this, and we'll show you a slow motion right now of one of the pros doing this, is they're coming what I call on edge. This is the edge of your racket right here. Here's your string bed, here's the edge of your racket. You want to be coming on edge to the very last second. It almost seems like you're playing a game of chicken with the ball, right? Where your edge is coming, and at the very last second, you do a pronation move, and then depending on how you make that move, which we'll get into more videos on how to hit slice and kick and flat, you know, depending on how you come out of that edge move will determine if you're going to hit slice, kick, or flat. But right now, we just want to get the idea of being able to come on edge and hit the ball. So what I want you to do right now is forget your playing tennis, forget about this stupid string right here, and make it a competition. See how good can you be at hitting the tennis ball on edge. And first, let's make it easy. Let's just put the ball, just we're gonna get our racket right here in the continental grip, and we're gonna put the ball right, basically right into the edge and hit it. Just practice hitting that. And once you get kind of comfortable with that, what I want you to do gradually, so you're gonna go from here, going straight forward, and to start leaning it back, because that's how you're gonna be approaching the serve. So, then you can come here. Now, don't be uh, worried about swinging and completely whiffing, or the ball not going over the net. That's okay. This is actually quite challenging. I might I might whiff a couple right here. As I throw, as I throw the ball, then I'm gonna try and hit it with the edge. You see, I didn't hit the ball, but what I'm practicing is coming after the ball on edge, that one I hit pretty good. So you just go and you practice that. Now you're going to start feeling what it's like to come at the ball on edge. So we'll be back with no fail drill number three. Now, number three, no fail drill number three, getting rid of this dread pizza move. Now you're going to attempt to do a full serve motion and still hit it with the edge, okay? So this is going to be challenging mentally to, it's just going to be so tempting to want to hit the ball and it's and it might get so ugly that it's going to be hard for you to be out here and, and maybe uh, there's other people watching. Don't care about those other people. It's about you getting better or go out at a time when no one's watching because this is going to get ugly, but it's going to make your serve beautiful in the long term. So let's try it. So you're coming here and all you're trying to do is hit the ball with your edge. This is a big challenge. It's tough to do. I probably will not be able to do it, but it's the idea of coming on edge. You can see what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to add a lot of slice. So now you can start to see. See, now you can start to see how spin is added, okay? Um, you can see the ball slicing off to the side. I would really love, just personally, to be able to hit it on edge. That would feel really cool. So I'm going to keep trying, but I keep hitting the side. That's okay. But I think now you're starting to realize if you have too much slice on your serve, what's happening is you're keeping that edge, you know, coming too close you're not open, you're not throwing that thumbnail out enough to, to be able to get a little bit more meat of the strings to hit your ball. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, come back and show you how we're going to start to come on edge and then start to hit more of the strings with my thumb in, thumb out drill. Okay, so our next uh, drill right here we're going to do, this is what I call the thumb in, thumb out drill. This is where you're going to start to really feel how to get a nice proper pronation. And again, notice with a lot of these drills, I like to stand short to the net and make things as simple as possible. Get rid of anything that might complicate things. So I'm actually going to face the court and I'm going to make sure that I can really see my thumbnail. Make sure you're checking out your thumbnail and I put my thumbnail right by my ear so I can really see what's going on here. Notice now, this is setting myself in position where I can really start to come aggressively up on edge. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to back up here to make sure you guys can see this. What I'm going to do is at the last second, I'm going to, my thumb is going to be coming from here. I can still see it. I can still see it. And I'm pushing the thumbnail out. So you just come here, thumbnail in, thumbnail out. And that's how you're getting that pronation going. This is how you can start to break out of that dreaded pizza move and eventually you're going to start learning how to hit some spins on the ball. So let's come back 
with drill number five. Then we'll start to look like a darn pro. So here we go. This is the 3X Pizza Move Eliminator right here to where we're going to start to develop an advanced serve. So what we're going to do is I really am a big believer in shadow strokes and going through things slowly. A lot of people will not go through these steps and this is why they get stuck with the same habits year after year. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start out in something I call the secret power source. You can see other videos uh, how I explain that. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice coming back here and brushing our hair. So I actually want you to make contact with your head as you come back here and then you're going to come out here up, push it out, and around. So you're coming right here down. The thumbnail is still looking at you. You can even look at it, push out, and around. So the first two, I want you to actually look at all that happening. I don't want you to take it for granted that it is happening. I want you to look at it. And then the third time, you can try and hit the ball. And don't be disappointed in the beginning is if you start to do something completely different on the third one, that's okay, okay? So just watch this. But if you work on this, eventually you're gonna get it. You're gonna have that light bulb moment, I promise. So I'm gonna come here, see your power source, brush the hair, come around here, look at the thumbnail, come on up, hit, and come around. I'm gonna do it again. Come here, brush my hair, come around, look at the thumbnail, push around. That one was a little more smooth. I was able to do it. And you'll find the more you're able to, to, to do these things, you'll, you'll still be able to look at yourself, but to go through things a little faster and it'll flow a little more. Then the third one, you're basically going to try and do a regular serve and hit. And if you do that, now all of a sudden you're going to be breaking free from the herd of all those people who have that really amateurish looking serve. I mean, this is one thing that really points out that you are a recreational player as opposed to one of the best players in the area. Whenever you have this look going, people go, oh my gosh, that's a player right there. So guys, that is definitely going to get you to the next level. And if you've heard me talk before, I'm always talking about going to the next level. But this goes beyond anything I've ever done. In fact, what I'm gonna be doing now is taking online coaching to another level. It's time, the technology is there, and I really wanna break out of the box and be the first one to do it to where not only are you gonna get all my video instruction, but I'm actually gonna be working with you one-on-one. -on -one. One, there's no smoke and mirrors here. Like literally, you and I will be working together. I'll be looking at your forehands. I'll be looking at your backhands. I'll even be watching your matches. Have you ever had a coach even on in your local area watch one of your matches and analyze it for you and show you what your first serve percentage is, your second serve percentage, your winners, your aces, your on force errors, break point conversions. I'm going to be doing all that, plus be pointing out the five big ticket items that you need to change in your matches so you can go out and win your next match. This is not a joke. This is completely 100% real. And if you'd like to set up a free 30 minute consultation with me, all you have to do is click up here, I believe, uh, and also put in the description and in the comment section. You, you do that, spaces are extremely limited. I will get on the phone with you and we will go over your goals, how you want to get better and improve in your game. And if things make sense, I'm going to be your personal coach, like for real, for reals, for reals, over the next year. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.